So the first bell sounds in this fell contest of the evening. Leeds, Hopey Price, like we say, looking so good of late. Really, really is. The, the talent has never been questioned whatsoever. It was just the question about power, but that is certainly starting to come with the maturity and that self-belief. Looking so composed and self-assured. Doesn't waste much at all, does he, Barry? No, and, and I would say about power, you know, you've got to get purchased off the floor to, unless you have natural raw power. So you have to get you know, it from the legs. And most of the time, especially when you're young and from the amateur game, you're always on the balls of your feet. You're always light-footed. So you're always in and out with the movement. And they're great. And, and don't lose that. But it's about knowing when to settle down. And I just think it's... And that's all, it's been, that's all they've been working on, I would feel. It's just knowing when to move, knowing when just to sit down on your punches and to get an purchase. If they'll knock them out, just to make them feel it. Sheb, yeah, we've mentioned the word variation a lot. In the previous contest and we're seeing that from Hopi Price already aren't we? Yeah we are, he's hitting head and body but what I like most about him is his patience, he's very patient, I've watched his fights and he's just so patient, he's sure about what he's doing. Yep always thinking and that left hand really has been a very dangerous weapon for Hopi Price, got a very good knack of drawing the lead out of his opponent and firing straight back with that sharp shot. And, and he got, no, he's tall, but it's not so much tall, the, his wingspan's massive, isn't it? It's almost, it's almost longer than his, than his height to the low. So he sits on that back foot, makes you makes you overreach for your shots. And that's where the patience comes from, Chev, of course. So he, he's comfortable there, isn't he? He has the reach advantage, he can see everything clearly, and he doesn't rush his work because of that. And that left hand, he's very selective with it. If you look, he touch, touch, touch. Yeah. Chopping down with the left hand there. Like you say, Chev doesn't waste much, very accurate. You know, he's one of those fighters. If the shot's not going to come out properly, he doesn't throw it. See again there, chopping down with the right, uh, the left hand, sorry. So accurate, so sharp with it. Santana trying to look for his own right uppercut there, missing. But again, Just swaying out of range, didn't he, Barry? Yeah, that's what it was. He missed. You know, he was, he was hitting the target, but it's, it's Hopi Price, isn't it? Just takes a, a little lean back. But because he has a wide stance, he don't lean over the back foot. He's not off balance, he just leans back onto the back foot. You see it there, it's lovely work there. Really fast, fast reactions there from Price. Yes, those feet, so smart. They get you into range to be able to throw the shot, but what's so impressive with Hopi is the way he glides out of range, makes his opponent miss. And now you see him now just navigating his opponent exactly where he wants him. Good opening round by Opie Price. Round two we go of this eight-round super bantamweight contest. In the blue shorts leads his Hopi Price. His opponent, Spain's Jonathan Santana. It was a good start, wasn't it, Chev? Yeah, it was a good start. You know, the first round he just controlled it. He boxed at his pace and he was just doing everything that he wanted. And um, um, Santana struggled to, to cope with it. Well, Santana, you know, you see, you know, he's jittery movements. He's trying, he wants to get close to the target. He's trying to, trying to mount an attack. But every time he does, he walks on. If it's not the jab, it's that, it's that strong left hand there from Price. 
That's just making him overthink. Let, he's starting to let his hands go a little bit more, Santana, and that will suit Hope for Price, won't it? Yeah, it will. So, so you, know, you have to be aggressive, but that's playing into his hands. So you have to, do, again, with that, this faint, changing the angles when you get close, moving around the target, and throwing in clusters when you're coming forward. And, and that's what Sa um, Santana is not doing. You know, he's, go he's attacking in a straight line rather than coming off at angles and, and trying. So he's going to have a hard day if he continues to attack like that. Yeah, and he's nullifying the work now. I hope he price off Santana. He's getting behind that jab. Good variation with the shot. Use that word again. Changing the levels with the jab, hair and body, and maybe a tactic that Santana should do. Just as I said, that he throws that left to the body. Got a huge target to work with. There's a nice uppercut there, wasn't there? A nice little... Uh, Quick combination as well there from Hopi Price and close. And again, changing the changing the pace of the shots, acceleration of the pace in your work, every now and again can catch your opponent off guard. Talk about you know Josh Warrington. We weren't talk, we weren't talking about Josh Warrington beforehand. <laughs> that you know Leeds will be looking for a new star. And there's a big opportunity here for Opie Price to look good, continue to develop and yeah, of course. Well, how many times have we seen that? Wouldn't you? Know, like success breeds success. We see it in gyms so often, but you get it in cities also, you know, because people you have someone to aspire to, so as a hero. You know, Steve Robinson lived in my street, a former world champion. So I seen that you know, a few years later. I win, I win a world title, and, it's, yeah. and not, he's not taking all the credit for that. But, you know, there's an inspiration there. A realistic, it's a touching distance, isn't it? And that's what they're seeing now. They're seeing Josh Warrington, someone you know, like them, who's been so successful. And, and yeah, and certainly, you know, you see success and, and it's, it's in your area, it's achievable, it's reachable, and, and, then, and then you get the results. Starting to heat up a bit at the end of this second round. Santana trying to get a bit closer, letting big shots go, but the accuracy, the speed, the hope and price, the difference. Here, he's taking that little slide out of range. Good couple of opening rounds in this third contest. Here's Shannon Courtney back boxing after 14 months out since losing to Jamie Mitchell. It shows us a lot of desire. She was on the celebrity circuit, if you like. It's a lot easier than boxing, so proving that she wants to be yeah. here, she wants to be back, she wants to be winning titles again. There are some big fights for Shannon Courtney yeah, in the future, but she has to get past Jenna Rug later this evening. <laughs> so in the, third, the third round we go. Sometimes trying to get closer, trying to bring his feet forward. Trying to close that gap. Hope your price looking composed, relaxed, unfazed. And looking for that straight left hand again. Beautiful shot. One, two. Straight down the middle. Now, when I was doing my research for this fight, I see that both fighters fought a fighter called Joel, Santa Joel Sanchez in 2019, a month apart, and both of them won. And I was looking at this thinking it would be a close fight. Oh. Oh, Barry, you ain't even the best fighter on your street. <laughs> <laughs> but hope. John, well. I told that to John Ryder on the train, and he told me, he? <laughs> absolute, unbelievable. Well, back to, back to this one. I'm sure Opie Price was the best fighter on his street. <laughs> Very good fighter. Under a bit of pressure from Santana, only physically, not much as way of shots. Oh, That's a right hand there, though. Yeah, good shot. That one, he just slid in. His feet slid in with the shot, didn't he, at the same time? It's so difficult for Santana because he's, he's such a disadvantage with the with the reach. All, all Price really has to do is just keep on that jab out all the time. Oh, 
They're just happy to move on the back foot. Hopey Price trying to draw <coughs> Santana in like he does there, just missing with that left hand. Santana's starting to plant his feet a little bit now, and that's a straight left down the body there. That was certainly a knockdown. He may have been treading on the front foot. I didn't see it, but the shot certainly did land to the body of Santana. He was square footed, so it, it, you know, it's not, it, he's not hurt, but it's a knockdown because he hit him on the, on the chest there. But I think he was just square footed there, Santana, when he got called. Nothing heavy. There's still a two point margin now for him. A lovely straight left to the body of Santana. And I hope he Price on the front foot. Get behind that long southpaw jab. You see, just waiting for Santana to make a mistake. Good variation there. Again from Hopi Price landing that left hook to the body. The onus is all on Santana to do stuff. So all Price got to do, even when Price is coming forward, all you got to do is stop. And, and just force Santana to throw when he's uncomfortable. And then the gaps will appear. Well, let's have a look at that knockdown. Talk us through it, Chef. He was off balance. He was off balance. Um, Hope and Price saw it. Hit him straight to the body with the left. And um, as he is off balance, he went over. It wasn't a dazing shot as such, but more off balance. Yeah, it was the, uh, like you say, Barry, the issue with the feet are coming together, square on, and the shot landed, but certainly a knockdown. And a good shot, by the way. The, the, the power's still going to knock him over, of course. It's, just, it's not a hurtful shot, that's all I would say. But again, he's the one making, he's the one by, by frustrating Santana, he's the one making Santana yeah, bring that, that back foot forward, square yeah. himself up, and put himself yeah. in the wrong yeah. position. Did you guys know Hopi's um, Price, yeah, Hopi <laughs> Price's name, <laughs> nickname is Drago? Yes, I did know that. Uh, d you, you should say, do you care, and then say it, because then we can say no. <laughs> <laughs> I forget how big you are, Chef. Sorry, mate. Referee just having a word with Hopi Price there, just pushing off Santana with his head. Good jab there from Price. Such a frustrating right hand as well, isn't it? Not always a lot on it, but it just makes you reset every time. Just starting to get his left foot on the outside of Hopi Price, Santana. <laughs> Trying to look for that right of his down the body of Hopi <laughs> Price. It's a good call from the referee there, just Price hitting and the referee called break. Oh, lovely straight shots. Hopi Price straight down the middle, covered up well though, Santana. See, what Santana is doing is when he gets his foot on the outside, the left foot on the outside, he's touching the body, but he's only throwing one shot rather than throwing two or three. Yeah, I think you're right when you get close, especially when you're such a disadvantage with reaching height. When you get close, you've got to do something like this with a bit yes. more thought. He's got a flurry. This is better. Like you say, Barry, he's got Hopi where he wants him. Letting his hands go. He's nullifying the work of Hopi Price, getting close and shortening up the shots. But it looks unfazed, Hopi Price. Never been caught with anything of note. Just pushing Santana to the floor. If it, to be honest, Santana's coming in low with the head. He's, he's pushing him to the floor, but Santana's no. It doesn't take much to get him on the floor, does it, to be fair? Little touch of the head and he's jumping on the floor. Yeah. That, that's true. Also, when he gets close, he's um, clustering his work. He doesn't have enough space to work, uh, Santana. Yeah, sure, yeah. I ironically. Good I think, pressure. I think he hurt him in the body shot he there. He did. Is that left to the body? Lovely work. And he's just starting to put his foot on the gas. Hopi Price creeping forward. Really teeing off on Santana now. Looks Again. a little jaded on the back foot. Again, it's about weapon the pace now for Price, but without closing the distance too much. So you lost Santana to throw or hold. And again, it's just knowing when to go and when not to go. And I think, you know, the, the attack to make Santana you know, make a mistake is the right thing. But when he hurt with the body shot there, you've got, you got to create the opportunities from that. 
What I think Hope he's done well is he's nullified um, Santana's jab. So Santana's not even thinking about throwing a jab no more. He's just rushing in yeah, and getting true. caught with the counters. <laughs> Here's the other corner of the Shannon Courtney fight, Gemma Rueg. She's uh, 37 years old, she's tough, and you don't often see this sparring in the dressing room. I think that's Beck Conley helping out Gemma Rueg. Like I say, She's tough, she's game. Ten fights, five wins, five losses. She'll make you work, that's for sure. Well, into the fifth round we go. Hopey Price, boxing nicely. But Spain's Jonathan Santana. Trying his best, he's trying to close the gap, and when he gets there, he lets his hands go, but it's the superior boxing from Hopi Price has been the difference. The accuracy, the movement, in and out of range. That left hand as well has been very, very dangerous shot for Hopi, hasn't it, Barry? Oh, he's, been, he's been sharp, hasn't he, tonight? I'll be honest. And, and nice and patient with him. We, talk, you know, we criticise fighters for not doing enough sometimes. Sometimes we criticise, criticise fighters for rushing their work. He's been really controlled. Looking for a short left uppercut inside Hopi Price. Managed to close up the guard, Santana. Looking for that right to the body. Got his foot on the outside, like I say. And that well, what I'd like to off a nice left hand down the middle there, Chev. Yeah, what I'd like to see from Hopi, which he just threw there, is that uppercut. Because when Santana comes in, he's face down, basically. You could just bring him up um, and, and get, a, hopefully, a nice stoppage for him. But we'll see how it plays yeah, out. Yeah, just say that as well. He's looking for the shot again there, Chev. Good body shot there, right hook to the body there from, from Hopi Price. Again, though, he's, I think he's just he's trying to be a little bit more aggressive here. I, I don't think he needs to close the distance, though. He's fine. That, that's his distance there. He's got his range from there. Yeah, at arm's length. Just, and then just keep taking take a little step and a force Santana on the back onto the rope. He looks wary now, Santana, doesn't he? Not as uh, as eager to try and close that gap as he was before. He's, he's tough. I'll, I'll give him that. Another little uh, secret step for you, Barry. Oh, go on, then. He had, a, <laughs> he had a little stint in MMA. He had five fights, three is that wins, right? is that right? two losses. His career lasted three years and eight months. How about that for stats? That's brilliant. Thanks, Stato. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, good right hook inside there from Santana. Took it well, Hopi. He's on the back foot. This is where Santana needs Hopi Price on the ropes. Needs to work away. Needs to be busy. Good work to the body from Hopi Price. Two hooks and follows it up with another one to the right and Whoa. upstairs with the left. Lovely shot. Good work on the rope from Hopi Price. Oh, that's a good body shot there from Price. Oh, I, I sort of feel for Santana. He's got him where he wants him. Mm. And all the success is coming from Price. It's just offering more opening, yeah. isn't it, for Hopi Price? Let you see now Santana. It's just using hesitant. that top. But she probably using that top rope for a little bit of leverage. He's getting away with it because he's tall. He can lean on top of it, just get a little bit of distance. It's a bit of an illusion there, isn't it, for Santana? He's close, but he's actually not used that rope to nick a few inches to lean back. Two Hope he's thrown some beautiful shots to the body on both sides as well. Yeah, they're whipping across, aren't they? They're the ones, you know, you know they lift the diaphragm and, and suffocate you. Tucking up well on the ropes, Hope he Price looking composed, looking for that right to the body again follows it up with two shots he felt he felt that one yeah he stepped back Santana didn't he now look at the bumps in his step no price 
Santana's legs really look weak at this moment. That's the body shots, isn't it? They, you know, they do, uh, people say they take your legs from you, they literally, they literally sometimes make you like you're walking in quicksand. And it's an intelligent change in tempo from Hopi Price as well. Slowly stepping it up, slowly putting the foot on the gas, up in it, doesn't get carried away with the shots. Good round from Hopi Price there, really starting to put a dent in Jonathan Santana. Adivinhando que ali era o fim, final da linha. It was born to be the phenomenon. God said, "You're the one." Well, I was mentioning that documentary to you lads, and I'm telling you now, it's one of the best documentaries I've seen. You spoiled it because you told us everything that happened. Well, I, I just couldn't help myself. Sorry, e everything. And, and, you, and you did the illustrations as well. You were literally running around. <laughs> He's one of them guys, isn't he? <laughs> if you haven't watched that at home, make sure you do. It really, really is a fantastic documentary. But here we go into the sixth round of this eight rounder. Hobie Price doing as he pleases at the minute. Looking very composed, very relaxed. Picking the shots well, we're seeing body shots, we're seeing uppercuts, the straight shots down the middle, the variation with the jab. Oh, good shot there from Price. A little shift of the shoulders there, just to create the space there for our left hand. Skipping to the side of Santana there. Good footwork from Hopi Price. I can tell he's really enjoying it right now. That little shimmy, that little skip to the side, a few little skillful movements. Yeah, it's just, just, you're right, it's just a little more spark to his work again, isn't it? You can see he's just he's in his flow right now, isn't he? Go boxing, go boxing. He's not far from Shot. challenging for major Ooh. domestic titles, Hopi Price, and there are some good names in the division. But Liam Davis, Dennis McCann, Jason Cunningham. Cunningham. Shabazz Masood, Gamal Yafaiso. He keeps progressing and keeps impressing like he is here. He's not far at all, is he, Barry, from fighting the sort of no, guys? No, and, and except for Cunningham, they're all youngsters as well, which is really you know, good for the you know, for the health of, of the sport and for that division alone. Whether he stays at Super Phantom weight, yeah. I'm not quite sure about that. But um, if he can, then and his size and his, his intelligence, then he's a test for anybody. Yeah, he's certainly got the frame to, to go for the weights, that's for sure. Again, got Santana exactly where he wants him, whether that be on the front foot or the back foot. Taking his feet out of range there, Santana. He's, just sort of, he's, he's not too sure what to do, is he, Santana? Yeah, that's, so that's exactly it, actually. He's just not, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he just look. He looks lost at the moment, and every time he attacks, it's the same attack. So there's no surprise um, coming for him. Well, you mentioned it like this is maybe wrong one, wrong two. The single shot is not enough, and you know he has to throw in combinations, and he hasn't been able to do that. Varying up the shots there again. The short left hook, and then the straight left down the middle, taking the sting out of the shot though, Santana. Look at that overhand right. Yeah, but it's too far out. It is too far out. It's readable, and when you bring the right foot forward, just square foot in it. He's got to throw in threes. Oh, lovely. Really good. Another really good round from Opie Price there. Really starting to slowly put his foot on the gas and put some real pressure on Jonathan Santana. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Como está ahí, papá, papá, te tira, ta, 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 te tira. No, no puede ser eso, no. no. Mueve, 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 mueve metiendo el pie, mueve metiendo el pie, mueve metiendo el pie, ahí tira, ta, 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 ta. vamos, venga. And into round seven we go. And what would they be saying in the, the corner of Santana there, Barry? I don't speak Spanish, mate, so... <laughs> Why are you, ask, you asking me? Zeladov, he's a man of many talents. <laughs> well, what, I presume they're telling him what they've been telling him from round two, and you have to get to the target quicker, so you have to throw in combinations, but you can only do what you can do. So there's, no, there's no point in telling a, a, a fighter in the, in the corner something that he's never done in the gym. So if you haven't worked on it, then the chances are you're not going to be able to do it on the night. He has tried to come for he's tried to be competitive, but you know, it's, as Sheriff's been saying from, from the offset, you know, in straight lines, single shots, it's just not enough. What's impressed me as well about Hopi is, is con what's impressed me about Hopi as well is his concentration. Even though nothing's coming back at him, he's, he's managed to continuously do the job and look good doing it. Santana complaining about a shot at the back of the head. No. The referee having a word with Hopi. And it's not pulling him down as well, but and he is oh, good shots, lovely work. Vicious Beautiful. double right hook there from Hopi Price on the back foot. Credit to Santana, he showed plenty of toughness in there. Takes a big shot, especially around the body. It's Hopi Price looks to land a couple more. Just didn't quite get around the elbow there, did that left hook, but he put plenty of, plenty of pop in that shot there, Hopi Price. Oh, good shot there from Santana, lovely uppercut. He's only been stopped once before, Santana. Like I say, he was scheduled to fight for 10 rounds twice. He did draw last time out for the IBO Mediterranean title, but earlier on in his career, getting stopped. I think it was in the, in the ninth round of the contest, so... Like I say, does have an edge in experience as a professional looking for that left over the top there. Well, on paper, it was always a good match for Hopi Price. You know, a good, another development fight where, you know, he might be put under a bit of pressure. It hasn't turned out that way. You know, he had to go through the rounds and he had to be, he's had to keep the concentration levels because Santana would attack, but he hasn't been able to be a test for him, Santana. That's, that's the truth. And that's testament to, I think, not so much the, so much the skill levels of Hopi Price, I think the discipline. Yeah, discipline with the shot selection, the feet. It's just too good in every department. Yeah, it's nice again. Beautiful variation of shots. Beautiful. See, like there now, if I was Santana, I'd go around to the side. Yes. You know? When. when Price got a turn to hit you in two, it opens up a whole new angle, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Exactly. So another round in the bag for Hopi Price, enjoying himself in there. And there is the local Kobe McNamara. He was wearing the, the Leeds colours proudly at the weigh-in yesterday. And a lot of support at the weigh-in. He's in with Nabil Ahmed. He's a good fighter. He's confident. He's good on the front foot, good on the back foot, good shot selection. And another one that's got the opportunity to, to be a new star in this city. We're into the eighth round we go. It's been a very good performance from Hopi Price. Showed us a bit of everything. He's boxed nicely on the front foot, on the back foot. He's been busy in between with the jab, up and down with the shot. Hang on, Darren. Shave's got another stat for us. Oh, come on. Come on, Stato. <laughs> it's not so much a stat. I'm just saying the MMA background came through. He's made it to the, the eighth round. Tough man. Yeah. Statistically, most people wouldn't care about that comment. <laughs> 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 
Plenty of feints from Hopey Price, trying to draw out that lead from Santana. He's not taking the bait, he's very hesitant now, the Spaniard to, to let his hands go at the fear of getting countered by those crisp, accurate left hands. To me, his legs just doesn't look stable, but he's still here. It's been like yeah. that for a few rounds. You see that? You see that? Oh, good shot. You see that quite often. They look like, they're like they've, they've got very really bad balance. But yeah, they, they're fine. It's just a. It's like their legs don't work in, in unison with the rest of their body. I have that problem now at 40 yes, years old. Yes, I was thinking about you when I said it, Darren. <laughs> oh, oh lovely. Check right hook. Santana <laughs> fell over his front foot. Looks for it again, but the Spaniard had his left hand high. Protecting the shot and trying to work away as he's got Hopi Price backed into the neutral Ooh, corner. Look for that right hand over the top. He landed with it. He's held twice. Then. That shot sort of ignited the fire there, didn't it? In, in Santana. Oh, the shot. Uppercut. Two of them as well. Oh, left hook followed by a right uppercut. Does a reverse right hook, left uppercut. Good work on the back, back foot. Exhibition stuff from Hopi Price. He's very comfortable on the road. <laughs> Sorry, I call him an old man. My criticism would be, don't get a bad habit of sitting on the ropes. Just because you have a success with this guy, no, it, no, always sitting on the ropes is never a good, usually never a good thing. And the higher that you go up in quality of opposition, you're going to find yourself in trouble. But he's boxing so well when he is on the ropes. I, I'm just very impressed with that left hand. It ha I don't think it has missed. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're right, actually. <laughs> the accuracy level's been fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't waste much at all, Hopi Price. Going into the last 30 seconds of this final round, it has been very impressive. And let's talk about engines. He's got better as the rounds got on. I mean, the work's increased. He sort of did, did what you should do. Have a look at your opponent, make sure you win in the rounds, but have a look, don't over-insert yourself, see the gaps. And as the rounds have gone on, he's increased the intensity. Last sec 10 second clap up, sounds. What has been a, a very composed, mature performance from Hope and Price. It does go to distance. Jonathan Santana proving once more. It's a tough nut to crack. Yeah, we've touched on it there. Showed us a bit of everything, Hopi. I think there'll be valuable rounds in the bank for the young man. He just looks so composed there, beautiful right hook. I think this has been a beautiful display, very comfortable, relaxed, calm. Don't, he didn't rush his work and um, a, a good victory. Yeah, good victory indeed. Absolutely no doubt about that. Showing us composure on the back foot, sitting on the ropes, on the front foot, that variation with the jab and Dave Coldwell. Coach Hopi Price will be over the moon with that, no doubt. Really, really does have a special talent to work with. Just waiting for Santana to wander over to the referee before we hear the decision. He is there now, so let's hand you over to our MC, Mr. David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing here in Leeds, we go to referee John Latham's scorecard. It reads 80 to 72. For your winner, he's still undefeated, Hopi Price.